are currently on a hike in Northern Iceland and there's the Arctic there. Our tour yeah. guide's name yeah. is Alan yeah, I remember that. and yeah. it's taking it's everything wild. in my power to not be like, Alan, 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 Steve, Steve, Steve. If you Google that or YouTube it, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm talking quietly because I don't want to offend you. I am wearing this beanie that I'm obsessed with. And it's faux fur. But I'm also wearing a turtleneck and a Patagonia fleece sweater jacket and this North Face coat and I'm dying. I am really hot right now. I even had to take my gloves off. Too hot. Oh, and I'm also wearing thermal underwear underneath my jeans and wool socks in my hiking boots. I am over prepared. He says there's one shark I told him that I'm afraid of the ocean because I'm afraid of sharks. He said there's one shark out there. Just one. And he feeds on the bottom. He's a Greenlandic shark. And I said I felt bad for him. And he goes, don't, don't, because he urinates through his skin. So there's a reason why he's a loner. Crowberry and blueberry. You can eat them. Yeah. What I do is uh, I eat them and then uh, I kind of spit the black skin out just because the, the skin's a little bitter on the little ones. Yeah. So you want to try? Yeah, we're good. Will I die? No. Is this like the Hunger Games? <laughs> you like take like, take the, the berry. <laughs> the berries taste like blueberries. Okay. And the little guys just. get captured at the end of that hike was me falling or actually I miscalculated a step we had to cross a stream and I thought oh that stone right there it's a little underwater but my boots are tall enough it'll be fine no my foot went way in all the way up my shin and my calf so my boot is currently drying my wool socks are now wet um, good thing it happened at the end of our hike though, because if it started in the beginning, then I would have had to turn around because I would have been too cold, but my foot got a wee bit numb at the end of that hike just because it was pretty much walking in a puddle of ice cold glacier water in my shoe, but the hike was still beautiful nonetheless. <music> carrots and Icelandic carrots seasoned with uh, uh, lovage oil and then we have kale, brown uh, brown cauliflower puree and cheese foam here. There you are. Enjoy. Thank you. A bit bad for the chef because my allergy list kind of got lost somewhere and I have a lot of allergies. So he had to have panic because he clearly had something else planned for dinner tonight and he had to scramble in the kitchen to come up with something else. So I feel bad, but he served us probably one of the most delicious cod dishes we've ever had. So even though it was a challenge for him, he nailed it. So we are currently having dessert at Deplar Farm for our first night and Torrance is very frustrated with me because all I keep doing is checking the weather forecast to see if it's going to snow. And there's a chance that I may not get my snow tonight. I get some, not much. The night after we leave is when they're supposed to have some kind of like blizzard. 
and I'm trying to convince him to get us to stay one more night. So I did not get my snow. I got glorified frost. This is not snow. Disappointed. So if there's something that Devlar Farm is, one of, their, one of the things that they're famous for is their pool and their spa. And that's exactly what Taurus and I are gonna be doing today. So you have this indoor hot tub and there's this, the entrance to the pool. If you swim underneath, there's this pool outside and a swim up bar. Look what's surrounding me right now. This is not something we get every day. Not in Los Angeles. I mean, yeah, there's Big Bear, but come on. Can Big Bear measure up to this? This morning, my husband said to me that this is probably the most beautiful hotel he's ever stayed at in his life. And, and he even said, he goes, and we've stayed at plenty of nice hotels. So, says something when, I think I hear him, I think he's, you making videos? Yeah, and you were burned in the ear, where you can find all this out, just chilling, chilling by the chairs, or if you wish, <laughs> documenting for Instagram. Yeah. Torrance is fascinated with um, what they have here, they have a cold pot, so you've probably heard us many times now talking about hot pots. Well, Deplar is a little different. They do have a hot pot. It's out by the front, but, oh, I can't open it. <laughs> I can't open this door. Wait, let's try. Did I do that? No. Did that do it? it Okay, so, oh my gosh, it's cold. Um, well, I prayed for snow and I've got frozen ground, but this, oh no, my socks are getting wet. This is a cold pot, meaning the temperature is freezing. And you're supposed to jump from the hot pool into the cold pot, into the Viking sauna. Actually, I don't know if that's true. I'm just making up how you're gonna do it, but. That's one way. <laughs> now my feet are cold.
<laughs> she likes you. <laughs> we are about to go horse riding again. And it's exciting getting to actually ride a horse instead of just admiring the scenery. I see you, Torrance. because of snow it's actually just raining outside um, but we decided to stay because we have still so much left to do on this trip and it's been go 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 since we first got to Reykjavik a week and a half ago so there's still a lot to be done a lot has been done and we decided you know what we could use the rest day so we've decided to curl up on this rainy day inside Deppler Farm. Changing our schedule last minute means that a part of our itinerary for today had to get mixed. And looking at the weather outside, it's just really dangerously windy and a little bit wet. Excuse me, I don't think, uh, I don't think those activities would have been much fun anyway. So we're not really mad about that, this decision to stay, but we did lose a bit of the East Fjords. Um, we're still heading out east, we just lose a day. Instead of two days, we're there for one. We have another sheep crossing. Put down this window if you want to stop. Those guys are the smart ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. It's finally some hey, appreciation by smart. genius. <laughs> shelter from this brutally cold wind. excited because we got snow. It's snowing. Finally!
Someone got snow. Time to leave Deblar. We don't want to leave. We're going to move in. What do you say? Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, I wouldn't mind living here. I'm sure the cats would love it here. 